I'm Sheila Koenig from Minneapolis, Minnesota, and I am honored to be featured in this month's Full Blind Beauty and to be here to share a little bit of my story with you. I am coming to you from Minneapolis, uh, Minnehaha Falls, where hopefully winter is on its way out and spring is on its way here. We've got the falls flowing while the icicles are here at the same time. So hopefully soon all of it will just be glorious spring. But it's one of the things I love about Minneapolis. A little bit about myself. I manage youth services at State Services for the Blind and before that taught ninth grade English for 15 years. Outside of work, I enjoy things like running a 5K and enjoying art, cooking, and just hanging out with friends. I think one of the things that I've really come to realize about myself is that I have grown into someone who's really comfortable within her own skin. I don't know that I always was, but I've definitely settled in now in a way in which feeling myself as a blind person is just part of who I am and not all of who I am. I grew up in Sheboygan, Wisconsin with parents who really encouraged me and challenged me knowing that I could have a life that is just as full and just as vital as, as anyone else's. Um, it wasn't really until after graduating from high school that I met other blind people. And I actually remember there's one video in particular that really stood out as a way of showcasing role models. At that time I was struggling with how can I be someone who is blind as well as someone who is poised and professional. And in this video, there is one image of a woman who was a lawyer walking off of a city bus. And she had a cane in one hand and a briefcase in the other hand. And in that one moment, I knew that I could be someone who's blind as well as someone who is a poised, confident person. So the importance of role models is just a belief of mine to the core and as I'm creating programs at State Services for the Blind I'm always looking for opportunities to bring in those role models because they open up possibilities for our students. Before I did my student teaching I knew I needed to get a little bit more training so I went to a training center here in Minneapolis called Blind Incorporated where I learned skills like using a cane, learning Braille, assistive technology, to just really give me that added boost of skills before I did my student teaching. That was so helpful in being launched into this wild ride of teaching in a 10th grade English classroom and a 7th grade English classroom to just absolutely help me um, know that I could do those those really important skills like accessing print and traveling around. So one of my values is personal growth and I think that can be seen throughout my career. I, as I mentioned, taught ninth grade English for 15 years at Southview Middle School, Go Hornets, and really loved that. Loved seeing students find new things in themselves and take on challenges. And after 15 years, I knew that I needed to take on a different challenge of my own just in order to keep learning and growing. So I applied for the transition coordinator position where I was able to shape a lot of programs for our youth with a vision loss in Minnesota. Last year, the position of youth services manager opened up, I applied for that and got that position and it's in that position where I can really support other staff in growing into the best people that they can become. <laughs> Related to personal growth, I'm not a person who does New Year's resolutions but every year I do choose an intention. Last year my word was brave, this year my word is joy and I think those two words really capture 
who I want to be as a person. Brave means showing up when things are uncertain or unknown, like submitting photographs to an art exhibit or making a video for Bold Blind Beauty or helping to lead a Daring Sisters retreat. It's just saying yes even when things are uncertain. Joy is all about embracing the beauty in the present moment around us, like flowing waterfall or sunshine. So my hope for all of you is that you can find your brave and your joy from within and that you can celebrate with a community of people. I think as people who are blind or visually impaired, one of the best things we can do is uplift and celebrate each other and help everyone to become the very best that they can be. Thank you so much. It's been amazing to share this with you and I look forward to talking with you in the future.